Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome to another episode of brand new console mods where we cover the latest mods out for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Yesterday's video, guys, was super awesome because I had 120 different replies from you guys choosing the next part of our Skyrim build, which is a lot of people. So I asked you guys, should our Dunmer build be male or female? And 44 of you said female and 76 said male. So that means our build is going to focus on a male Dunmer. So that's really awesome. And so again, guys, in the comments, I have the next question. I need you to answer for the build and that is what will our main skill tree be once we decide on a main skill we can decide on a play style that uses the skill and then we can decide on secondary skills so check the comments and make your choices also some of you have already started to suggest names so keep it going i'm going to be making a record of all suggestions i get from you guys and you can vote at the end the first mod up today is the armor and weapon loot mod this is armor loot and weapon loot combined into one mod First of all, it adds in the Mystic Monk outfit, which you can see here. The pixelated face is from the Skybit mod from yesterday. I need to do a hard reset to get rid of that. Anyway, this mod, as well as adding the Monk's outfit, makes a whole bunch of changes to the game's level list. It adds a 50% chance to find armor and weapons now on bandits, bears, droggers, ice wraith, mud crabs, saber cats, skeletons, trolls, vampires, warlocks, and wolves. Next, the following stuff now has a chance to drop from these enemies. For weapons, silver swords, scimitar, and the Headman's Axe, Falmer Weapons, Blade Sword, Skyforge Weapons, and Unenchanted and Enchanted Elvish Weapons, Unenchanted and Enchanted Glass and Ebony Weapons, the same for Daedric Weapons, and Staffs can also be found on any of these as well. For Armor, you get Unenchanted and Enchanted Mystic Monk Outfits, which can be available on enemies now, Elven Armor, Unenchanted and Enchanted, same with Glass and Ebony, and Unenchanted Armored Clothes, and finally, Unenchanted and Enchanted versions of Daedric Armors can now be found on any of these enemy types. And also, a mod that makes killing and looting enemies in game a bit more worth your time. The next mod is the Samuel the Mad Merchant mod, and this adds in a new merchant to the game. Samuel can be found in Arcadia's Cauldron and Whiterun, and he sells some different kinds of alchemy related goods. For example, there are Boots of Water Walking, a Circle of Nern that makes crate potions 40% more powerful. He also sells some unique potions, like the Champion's Elixir, where one handed weapons do 25% more damage for 30 seconds, Blocking absorbs 25% more damage for 30 seconds, Stamina regenerates 25% faster for 30 seconds seconds and stamina is increased by 30 for 30 seconds so that's just one example as a really strong potion that he will sell he also sells other stuff like poison apples causes 3000 points of health damage and you can give these to your enemies to kill them sneakily or you can simply eat it yourself so he sells a whole bunch of different things related to alchemy and has some cool unique items on him as well Next up, we have the Emperor Sword, and you saw this a little bit at the start of the video, and it's a simple mod that adds in a sword to any forge in the game. It's a one-handed steel sword, so you will require the steel smithing perk to make it, and for its damage, it does 49, so that's just slightly more than a Daedric one-handed sword. I have to admit, it does look really cool. It's actually better looking quality once you equip it, I think, rather than just looking at it in the menu, and it's a very unique shape compared to other weapons in the game. If you're interested, the weapon can be improved at the grindstone as well, and enchanted. So overall, a cool sword mod. The fourth mod of today is a simple one and all it does is alter the skin texture of the male Argonians. The texture is now much darker than normal and I think it does look pretty good. I mean Argonians make for excellent sneaky characters and having darker textures makes it easier to not be seen at night. Well if you like to play immersively anyway and so if you're role playing as a sneaking character this will definitely make for a much more interesting playthrough if you're using an Argonian. The final mod of the video is the Deus Mons Castle of Mirak. First up, we have a little bit of lore about this new castle. Situated just north of the throat of the world, atop a small peak, lies Deus Mons, which translates into the God Mountain. The origins of Deus Mons dates back to several millennia, where Skyrim was a young land and the dragons flew high in the sky. The legend says that a dragon rider would have built it to make it his home, a castle difficult to access by road but easily by air, until the day when the son of the dragon disappears somewhere in the island of Solstheim, leaving eternal snow of the throat of the world to cover it. The centuries that followed were little documented. It is said that the Jarl of the Lords, amazed at the beauty of the building, felt the desire to restore it to make it their second home. But the altitude and the difficulty of access through the path of the 7,000 steps were stronger than their dedication, until the day when a dragon came to devour the last lord and all the workers who were restoring the build some seasons ago. As a Dovahkiin, it is your responsibility to destroy this guardian and take over the legacy of the Dragonborn. So for features, this amazing castle has, including all the regular home stuff I mean, all crafting workstations, 100% compatible with Hearthfire Multiple Adoption, 
options. There's everything a happy family needs. Everything to expose your trophies. So vault room, trophy room, showcase, numerous mannequins as well. A majestic throne room with a dragon museum. Ingenious Dwemer hydraulic system with running water in your home as well. Portals of, of teleportation to Winterhold and Whiterun, plus a recall spell to come back to Deus Mons. Five relics of Mirak to make your Thune powers more powerful, and a dungeon not yet complete which is under the foundations of Deus Mons, and inside you will find enemies and treasure, but all that will be in a future update. So a cool mod, it's based on the College of Winterhold obviously, but it's been updated inside to be different, and in order to get inside, you will have to defeat the dragon who guards the place. So guys, that is our mod for Skyrim today, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and follow me on twitter and facebook the links are in the description also guys i might have a second video out today i'm not sure yet but if it is it will be out a few hours after this one anyway stay awesome guys and i will see you all next time